Welcome back. It's now been about uh, ten and a half hours. The tool has been inside the oven curing and at uh, 200 degrees. I'm now going to take the tool out and let it sit for about for about uh, eight to ten hours so that it can cool down before I embark on the next step. Just taking a look at it, it's now cured. It's a, it's a round tool. It's hot, it's 200 degrees, but there is no moisture inside. It's all set. So I'm just going to set it out on my stand, close my oven up, turn the, make sure the oven's turned off, and I'll come back tonight and I'm going to paint uh, the mixture of pitch and turpentine on the tool this evening. Then I'm going to put it back in the oven for about two days. Well now, the tool that we've made, the dental stone tool, has cooled for about 10 hours. And I'm now ready to apply a mixture that I made of 20% pitch and 80% uh, turpentine. That is about a 1 to 4 ratio of pitch to turpentine. The pitch I'm using in this particular mixture is Google 73. And I had melted it, poured it into a pot, into a pan, or into actually a coffee can, and then I poured in about four parts of turpentine while the pitch was still uh, in a more liquefied stage. Now, uh, it's been several months, in fact, maybe a year since I've done this, but the pitch is still liquefied. I've kept it sealed, and it's just fine. What I'm going to do is, and there's a couple of tools that I, I haven't discussed and I forgot to mention when we started, but one of them is a paintbrush, a cheap paintbrush. Another one is a round cake pan of proper diameter so that the tool can fit into it. Now I want to paint the side of the tool that was against the blank because that's the side I'm going to eventually pour the pitch on. And I have to it's not really a big deal to do this. The stuff is fairly viscous. Just take it out, paint it across the top, and this is really for a couple of purposes. One, it seals the tool, and two, and just as important, it provides an excellent base for the pitch to adhere to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this on Just take a couple of minutes. This stuff is really pretty viscous. If it's too viscous, you can always add a little more turpentine. And I use pure gum spirits turpentine. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything particularly expensive. I personally prefer a thicker mixture of pitch to turpentine. The ratio isn't really all that important. But ultimately what I want to do is I want to make sure I've sealed the entire top. And I've done that. I've got a nice mixture on here. And this will make a very good base to pour the pitch lap when I get to that stage in a couple of days. A couple of days, you say. That's right, a couple of days. Now that I've ruined this paintbrush, which is fine, it's cheap. I think it cost me under a dollar. I bought a bunch of them for three dollars, I think. I'm going to take my tool, which is in this cake tin, and my camera girl Joan, who's my 21 year old daughter, is going to move the camera so that you can see what I'm going to do next. Okay, Joan, just face it over here. I'm at my turbo oven, my Farberware turbo oven, which I purchased this weekend at. Uh, the Goodwill store, a place where you could buy all sorts of electronics and household gadgets from the 70s. I'm going to put it into always on at 200 degrees, put the tool inside, and I'm going to come back in about two days and it will be done. And that's where we are for right now. So I'll be back in two days, and we'll take a look at what we have, and we'll go to the final steps. Oh.
Well, it's been about a day now that we've been making the uh, tool, the dental stone tool, with the uh, pitch turpentine mixture on top. My wife complains of a slight odor upstairs. Uh, I've looked at it, I turned it this morning, just uh, turned it around a little bit. Uh, the pitch is somewhat uh, soaking into the top of the tool. I'm going to let it go for about another day at 200 degrees, and then tomorrow when I'm done, I'll take it out and we'll look at uh, letting it cool down overnight, and then on Saturday, we'll probably varnish it. Today being Thursday, December 10th, 2008, and it's about uh, 7 o'clock right now at my home in Brewster, New York. Well, hello and welcome back. It's been about 36 hours since I've put the dental stone tool with the uh, mixture of pitch and turpentine in the oven to warm it at 200 degrees. Uh, I usually do it for about a day or two, and generally speaking, if I say a day or two, I'm going to err on the side of two rather than one. But now it's been about a day and a half, maybe a little more. Open it up. Take a look, turn it around, everything looks good. Well, I'll be back tonight at about 8 o'clock, and at that time we'll take it out and uh, take a look at it. I'm sure it'll be just fine. And then what I'll do is I'll let it sit overnight and I'm going to varnish or shellac it tomorrow morning and then I'll pour a pitch lap on it so that I can begin to polish my optical flats.